Hi all, this is Joe Neville and in this second video in my Get Open Switch series I'm going to show you the long way and that's where you make the image yourself. Here are the steps. First we're going to get Linux, preferably a bare metal server if you can. If not, a VM's fine, it just takes a bit longer. Then we copy and paste some commands which I will put in the video description. Then we're going to make the open switch image and then that's going to take quite a while so we're going to pass some time maybe watch some youtube videos or some other pastime then you're going to get docker and we are going to run docker run with our new docker image step one get linux here is my newly installed Ubuntu 14.04 machine. This is on a bare metal server. It's 8 gig of RAM, quad core, and the make will take about an hour. If you're running a VM, could take a couple of hours or more. So to build our development environment, just copy and paste the the commands here, um, which I will add to the video description. That will take a few minutes, so I will skip ahead. Then we need to do a git clone of the open switch ops build. Just copy and paste the command that I'll put in the description. That will clone ops build. Once that's finished, you should see the ops build folder has been cloned you can move into there and we run this command the make configure so again just copy and paste that builds the system for open switch that only take, took a few seconds to create the platform and now we're ready to execute the make this is the part that takes uh, a long time, um, so I'm going to pause the video now and I'll come back to it in about an hour when I believe my open switch image will be built. I left that running for just over an hour and the process is finished. We do an ls and we change to the images folder. You can see the binaries in there. Now we need to move on to the next step and get docker. So we get docker and we issue this command. Then we need to log out. And once we've logged back in, we need to just copy and paste the sudo make export docker image open switch command from inside the ops build directory that will export the image and create a docker image for us from which to build the containers so here you can see a repository by the name of open switch that we've created point here being that we're not relying on other people to build the images for us so we've created that ourselves so now with our docker image ready we use docker run point it at the open switch repository to create our docker container ops one and almost instantly our docker container is up so you can see there it's got the name of ops1 it's running our new open switch image so if we do docker network inspect bridge you can see the container there 172.17.0.2 so we can ssh as root onto that And we are on to the container, then VTYSH, and we're into the open switch CLI. Now, one of the great things about this when you're running uh, the Docker containers is that you can very easily bring up a second, third, fourth instance of open switch. So we just change the name, 
run the docker command again and there you can see we've got uh, ops 1 and 2 running and in my next video I'll be showing you how to connect these open switch devices running in docker containers together to create a true network but that's it for this video so until next time thanks for watching and goodbye